What's going on beautiful people? So I'm currently in front of the Neon Tetra Jungle Tank that I set up, well it's about a month old now I think, isn't it? We've had our initial die off of plants, we've had our melt back, some of them are still in there now and need removing. Look at the floating plants on the top, that's happened in like no time at all. <laughs> Look at it, look at it. And I took a load off of there the other day to put in the, um, the ecosystem tank. <laughs> so it's cutting out a lot of the light, but no, that's not how it actually looks, hang on. Right, that's how it actually sort of looks. So the plants are actually still growing, so they are getting enough light. There's a load of daft in the background plants look, but then the new shoots are coming through, so we're all good there. Fish are all good. There is quite a lot of algae on the glass which you probably, yeah, you can see that sort of blurriness to it all, see? So it's about to look super crisp. Give me 10 minutes, we'll be looking great. First of all, I need to get some light in there, don't I? <laughs> look at it all. <laughs> it's really natural looking though, isn't it? Look at that. Right, so I've removed the majority of the floating plants there. There's still quite a few left, but you know, they're gonna multiply so fast that you have to cut all the way back. Look, the tank's looking great already, isn't it? <laughs> and it just needs to sort out the glass very quickly because it's going to look even better than that. Right, already, look, the tank is looking so, so much better. We're getting some insane growth from this uh, Pagostamon erectus, I think this one's called. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's, it's just bursting, isn't it? it? To be honest, it might be getting a little bit too big. Soon I think I'll trim it back. I'll trim it when it gets tall enough that we can trim and replant it, you know, to a decent sort of length. Although saying that, we might not need to replant this. I would like to bring it back a bit. I think it's just coming right forward there because uh, the water level brought it sort of sloping. So I'll, I'll push that one back in. But yeah, overall really, really nice. Um, it's still got some of that weird die off going on that I told you about before. On the Java fern in the back there, you see that sort of darker area? Well, we get a new growth um, and you know new leaves all coming around it so I'm happy just to sort of leave it and let it do its own thing this side's actually looking fantastic look at that there's loads of new growth on there in the background we had some of that sag off as we said uh, but there's loads more green starting to come through and especially now that we've opened it back up um, the, and then it's just got good light levels fish look really really healthy look at them all just flying around it's weird isn't it you do a water change and the activity just goes nuts probably because I was wafting around everything as well as I was wafting this front area trying to make sure that it comes up into the water column so when we're like sucking water out all that waste goes with it so that we're diluting everything all the time but i'm really happy with how this monte carlo is coming along because it's starting to creep look it's starting to go downwards and try and find an anchor point in in all the gravel we've got look good little collection of snails going on as well some people really don't like snails in their tank and i honestly don't understand why i mean for me they're just little workers they're brilliant along with the amanos oh there he goes and the snails i mean you're on to a winner straight away am i like the only aquascaper that actively goes around looking for snails to add to each tank <laughs> i think i might be So that's the Neon Tetra jungle tank taken care of. Now, last video as well, we also took care of the no CO2, well, they're all no CO2, I don't know why I'm saying that, sparkling grimy tank, the nature cream next door. Now, what about the platy mountain tank? We're going really well. We do need to give it some much needed attention and maintenance though. So first and foremost, one of the key factors here that's good is this, the plants. They are growing really, really well. You know, like we've got, we've got lots of growth on all the top stems. They're just bushed right out you know they're gonna need trimming for a start second of all slow growing plants like the anubius for instance back there isn't covered in algae <laughs> which also suggests they get in the right sort of lighting levels and period that sort of thing thirdly look at the algae on the rocks it's coming right back in it's, it's raining itself in it was far far worse than that and it was like sort of going a darker green and now it's getting lighter and lighter just where it's it's getting sort of eaten, pecked off, and naturally just not sort of reproducing so fast because the, just the overall balance is, is getting achieved is what I'm trying to get at. And that makes sense to be honest because it was all three weeks to a month ago, about three and a half weeks actually when I, by the time I finished this. Um, and that, that's normally about the time it takes for a, a tank to get like 
properly going and settled and cycled and all of that. I don't just mean like bacteria cycled. I mean like everything, the balance. It normally takes a good month. So there is quite a bit of green spot algae. You can see it all along the front of the, gl the glass there. And that comes quite far down. It comes down to about this level. And down here, obviously, where the light isn't hitting it so much, it's it's not on that, that section. But the glossy stigma look that did die back, that's all doing quite well for a low-tech tank, isn't it? It's actually now trying to grow horizontally and go into different areas. It's going to take a long time for that to sort of, you know, carpet that whole area. But I'm not in any rush with this style of tank. Just, just sit back, enjoy it, and let it do its thing over, over time. I'm using the razor blade. <laughs> um, this is green spot algae is more like it's, it's kind of welded on whereas the green dust stuff just brushes off easily. I mean, you can brush it off, but you need something that's got a little bit of like a scout, like a anti, a non-stick pan scourer or something like that that's not gonna scratch the glass. But if you get a razor blade and hold it flat against the glass, it doesn't scratch at all, and it takes everything off in one quick go. It's so fast to do it, look. So basically, I've nearly done the whole front of this glass now, look, in what, under a minute? I mean, I mean it, it, it blows my mind that I don't just do it more regularly then. <laughs> okay, there we go. And if you do it in this way, up and down like this, you're also wafting stuff into the water column that we can take out as well, or the filter can take out, to be honest, because uh, I won't be doing a water change on this one just yet. It's just not necessary, I don't think. I actually tested the water on this a couple of days ago, and it's all spot on, so I'm not going to be doing a water change. Right, this time I'm going to be proper ruthless with this. Cut everything right back. Problem with trimming when you're doing this, you make such a mess of all those little bits, they come up everywhere. Look, everything, even this plant, this is like um, similar to pearlweed, similar sort of family of plants that grows with nice round leaves. I'm gonna cut everything back, guys. I'm not even holding back on this one because it's just gonna be back in two seconds. And in, do in doing so, as many of you know, cutting the plants right back in this way means that they grow back even better. I'm going right back in tight with the with the rock as well so that should look pretty cool always be careful when you're trimming that you don't catch any of the fish they're such inquis inquisitive little ones these are uh, platys they're not scared of anything and they're coming right over to me but this one's right in there get out the way <laughs> so if you're wondering how the plants here look they're purling even though there's no co2 in this tank well, all plants will purl if they're growing healthily and you trim them it just just happens it's the oxygen's being produced if it's growing it's producing oxygen isn't it just to what levels and, and that kind of thing this is very brutal for me i normally don't do this because i don't like how it looks afterwards it looks kind of flat but needs look at that how did i miss that one there we go needs must you know got to do this otherwise it won't just it won't stay good it will just get overgrown and like i said to you guys i'm really trying to keep on top of all this stuff now keep on top of all the trimming all the maintenance keep every tank looking awesome So what we've basically done there is enable the continued beautification of this tank. Uh, um, it, I struggle, I do struggle with trimming the plants, I just hate how it looks now. Um, give it a few sort of days to a week, those new sort of shoots will be coming through on the pearlweed and it'll look great again. It's just, ugh, I hate it now, I hate it. <laughs> to be fair, this tank has actually grown in quite well in such a short space of time. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. It's, maybe it's the style of tank, it's that, you know, diorama style with the uh, mountains and that. So the neatness that we've trimmed it to doesn't look too bad. <laughs> In like a nature aquarium style though, I find that hacking everything back like that and curving it off kind of ruins the look. But I am getting better at it, I'm getting better at doing it. So take these tanks here, for instance. In the last video I showed you guys, um, that, and some of you commented, look how overgrown they are. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right now, quick time lapse. Both of these are going to be looking really good right next to this one in the middle. And then you'll get to see the light balancing out a little bit more because this isn't as dark as that. So this is how I'm seeing this one. Like, about that? No, more like that. That's how I see that tank. <laughs> and that's not how I see that tank. That's how I see that tank. And then this one is pretty much the same because it's such a mass of plants. <laughs> anyway, let's get it sorted. Okay, looking really good. And look, lighting levels sort of match now. Um, I left this little clump of moss here because I just think it looks really naturalistic and nice. There's no sort of green algae on the rocks, which is good. Uh, we might get a little bit of an algae bloom now just because we've re removed a lot of the sort of plants that were blocking the high lighting. It will adapt. It will, you know, become good again. 
uh, but it, it will probably require a little bit more maintenance moving forward. It's okay. I'm up for it. It's good. Look at how good the fish looks. Look at that better fish. Love the tail on this guy. He's, he's pulling it in at the moment because he's uh, a little bit spooked. But oh, look at the size of that Amano as well. This isn't a particularly small better fish, to be honest. And that Amano is a machine. Go, 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 go. <laughs> So yeah, we've got that one there, and we've got um, Hellboy right next to I, I still haven't named this one. Um, looks like Mustard, doesn't it? Mustard. Let's call it Mustard. Done. Mustard and uh, Hellboy. <laughs> but yeah, looking good together. Right, we need to ta tackle this one now. This one is... I'm just going to go to town on it. I'm just going to I'm gonna go right back. It, it, it will come back nice, trust me. It looked so good for a while. It looked like a little mini forest. Like I said before, but I didn't keep up on it. But that's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to cut it right back. A lot of this pearl weed is coming, is coming right down to the base, I think. I actually pull out a lot of it as well because it would just do this again in a week otherwise. <laughs> There we go, look at that. How good is all three tanks looking? By the way, these tanks all got the same little nano filter on it. Does a really good job, in my opinion, of just keeping everything ticking along nicely. Not over filtering it, you know, but still doing enough of a job that everything works. Like this one's super clear because it's all have like all fresh water when I moved it over here in the last video. But to be fair, considering the fact that these filters weren't running because they can, they got clogged up so bad because I hadn't serviced them in so long. They were running, but they're just, you know, like a steady trickle. And even even then, the tanks still look pretty darn clear, don't they? This one is looking even better now. Literally, as time goes by at the moment, they're clearing up completely. Maybe I should have just waited a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Look, this is real. This is how it happens. And we're looking good, aren't we? So this tank did have some mosses attached on different parts, but um, it's sort of detached as it's grown and I just scooped it up just then. I might go around and add a few more pieces. You can see where there was some on, on this uh, piece of wood as well. Thing is though, the more moss you put in a tiny little nanoscape like this, there's my hand for reference, the moss grows so fast that before you know it, you're blocking out light to the lower parts of the stems and that kind of thing. So for me, I think it might important, be important this one, just to just let it do its thing for a little bit, see how it's going and then maybe kind of make some adjustments because it is actually a really nice little layout. I, I love how sort of Foresty, it does look when it grows back in. It's got Dragonstone, we've got a little bit of, not that you can see it all. The boost looking amazingly healthy there. Look at that. Let me turn it up. Looks so, oh, look, that's like a little uh, Kadanga one. That's like a mini sort of boost. And the Anubis Petit look fantastic. Look at the quality of that plant. Looking super clean and growing really nicely as well. That one there, which has been exposed to some light. Um, it was tiny when I first put it in, look at it now. I think it was the same size as that piece, but that's been like a fully shaded area because all these plants came over. But look, we're looking good now. I am gonna keep right on top of all of this and it's just gonna keep looking so good. Next up, we've gotta we've got to try and get this one, pull this one back in. It's doing its thing, so I've just kinda of gotta let it go for it, the motions at the moment. This is the, um, this is the German Blue Ram tank. They are in here, by the way, just that they're probably scared of me doing all this banging around. We're getting better by the day. You can see there, um, there's a lot of bubbles up the top here in this uh, Java fern. Now that isn't O2, that's just like reacting with glutaraldehyde. So that is the, the all the, all the uh, algae and stuff that's on those ferns. You can't really see them by eye or with the camera, to be honest. The bubbles mean it's sort of eating it off, if you know what I mean. Another week, I think another week, and this tank will start to look really, really good. Right, guys, you remember a couple of videos ago, I told you about some eggs that have been laid on a discus tank glass. Now, it turns out it was Cory eggs. Um, hadn't seen anything since. They got pecked off eventually. I didn't remove them, just let it do its thing. But there's a ton more now. So, for instance, back in the same spot for some reason, there's some. There's some further along as well here, look. So the fish are sort of hanging around those. But the key thing that I'm interested in, can you see just on the edge of that plant there, there's like a row. And then if I come to the underside of it, oh, I can't quite get in there to have a look, but look, you can see it's a bit blurry, but just behind that leaf, I think the whole underside of that leaf has got loads on. Oh, I'll tell you what, just let me open it up. Let me pull it back, because I'm really intrigued to see. What have we got? Oh, <laughs> so there's like four, four on that bit, or three on that bit, and then there's some on this one as well but they are scattered deeper into the tank, which is what I'm interested in. Because, you know, up until now, all I'd ever seen is Cory eggs go on the front of the glass. I've experienced it before in one of my previous tanks as well. I'd, and then someone said in the comments that they're scatterers. They actually scat the eggs. Just seemed to be a bit of a coincidence that some of them got scattered on the front of the glass. I wasn't actually seeing what was going on in the rest of the aquarium, so that is definitely the case. 
if I can see some there, there must be more dotted about as well, which means there is a good chance that some can survive, especially with this amount of plant growth for them to dart in and out of. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, disc is a pretty peaceful fish, but if anything small like that is going to swim in front of them, they're going to eat it, aren't they? Don't worry, guys, I don't blame you, though. You know, it's part of your nature. Murderers! <laughs> Also guys, if you remember in the last video, I added an extra light and lowered the light for the uh, ecosystem aquarium behind me. It's come as a bit of a shock to the tank. We're getting some algae. It was to be expected, to be honest. Uh, just come take a look. So the main areas we are getting it is obviously directly under the light where we've got the trident fern. So I don't know if you can see there, quite a bit of sort of hair algae. Now I've actually got to go away now on a business trip for a couple of days. I'm not going to touch it now. I'm going to come back and see what it looks like because I've got a feeling it's going to go pretty nuts. Um, and then I can sort of deal with it. I think it'll be a good experience for me and for you guys just to show what can happen and how we can treat it because although yes, we have up the light levels, it's not crazy, is it? This tank, this size, you know, we've, we haven't got that many inhabitants as well uh, producing a load of waste. We should be able to deal with the light that we've got here. I've also got obviously the floating plants as well, which in there look, are just doing great. They're growing and multiplying as we speak. To be honest, when I come back in a couple of days, I'm half expecting most of the surface to be covered with, uh, with these floating plants. So in here it is, guys. Got some real healthy, nice green roots coming, which means they're actually enjoying the conditions as well. And to be honest, the more they're enjoying the conditions, the more suited it is for them being there. Do you know what I mean? Because if they are growing and multiplying, it means there is excess nutrients in the water column for them to be able to do that. Look at that already, look, this, uh, see that rotala there? It's already going pink. It was two days ago I added this light and that's, you know, that's how good it's going already. Definitely want to keep this lighting level. I don't want to have to reduce it. So we're going to have to sort this out. Maybe use of some chemicals or something like that. Just knock the algae on the head. Once you do something like that, it doesn't come back afterwards. Once you get that balance going. But one thing I can say for sure is that all the green plants are getting more green. Obviously that's to be expected given the fact that we've got more light. And down in this corner, look, the epistogrammas, absolutely loving their little spot. This is their area, they're always here, um, underneath the filter, so they're not in the flow, so they just seem to really like it. And amongst all of this sort of plant as well, what plant is this? It's um, it's like a baby Amazon sword. It's in that group, or that family of plants anyway. But yeah, they're cool, look at them, look at them. You enjoying the new light? I mean, the colors on them for a start look miles better in this light, look at that one. <laughs> What are you doing? It's about time you two paired up a bit and had some babies, to be honest. You've been in there long enough now. Sort it out and breed for me.